You know, there are three great staple crops that feed the world, corn, wheat, and rice, okay? Probably 20%, I believe this is the correct figure, of the world's calories come from wheat. So if you think about one-fifth of the world's diet, they actually probably get a little higher of their protein from wheat because wheat is a high-protein cereal relatively because you need it to have high protein to make bread. So it's, it's a huge crop when it comes to feeding the world. I think wheat's one of the most sustainable crops. And, and you know, if you look at it, it's been grown widely for 10,000 years. So on an index of sustainability, you know, is that pretty good? I mean, do you need a longer time frame than 10,000 years? It's a water efficient crop. It's a nitrogen efficient crop. It grows over the winter, so we have much less soil erosion than what you have when leaving a field bare. Uh, its rooting system is, is very deep, which means it breaks up hard pans, which means it helps the corn that grows after it. So there's a lot of very good uses for wheat, and it's very sustainable. We're very market conscious, so we want to reduce uh, farmer inputs and give consumers good value. Breeding for disease resistance means there's less pesticides. Breeding for better nitrogen use efficiency means we put less fertilizer on. Uh, breeding for things like short stature means you don't use chemicals to reduce the height. Uh, breeding for adaptation so that you can grow wheat in soils that were previously difficult to grow wheat in is again a way of adding sustainability. Well, if the U.S. were a wheat importing country, it basically is the same problems that you could have anytime you're in importing a country. So for food security and for the quality of life that Americans are used to, it's important that we produce wheat for ourselves. It's important we produce wheat for the people who count on us to produce wheat for them.